Brazen smash and grab at a jewelry store at Tanger Outlets in Washington. Police say two men used hammers to break into several jewelry cases. Amy Wattis is live with more on who was inside the store when this happened. Amy. Well, South Strabane Township Police tell us the K Jeweler Outlet at Tanger Outlets was open last night when this robbery happened. Two employees were waiting on seven customers inside at the time. Three of those customers were kids under the age of seven. It's crazy. I, I just, I don't understand. I, I don't get it. Eleanor Farrell goes to Tanger Outlets pretty often to shop with her friend Martha Quigley. Today, Quigley says she noticed something a little different. I have noticed security today. Uh, we, we noticed uh, a couple of them uh, dressed in their jackets or whatnot. That's because the K Jewelers was robbed just before 8 last night. Police say two men walked into the store armed with hammers, ordered everyone on the ground, and immediately began smashing showcases with the hammers and grabbing jewelry. They probably knew what they wanted and they went to those cases and, you know, and did what, what they felt they had to do. They could have hurt somebody. Really bad. Thankfully, police say no one was hurt. Police used witness descriptions and surveillance footage to track a suspect vehicle to the Hyatt Hotel parking lot nearby. The vehicle had been reported stolen earlier in the night to the Robinson Township Police Department. The two suspects are described as black men. The first suspect is around six feet three inches tall and was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt. The second suspect is around five feet six inches tall and wearing a gray sweatshirt. Shirt. Now, the South Strabane Township Police Chief just emailed KDKA some surveillance pictures of those suspects involved in this robbery. We will show you those images coming up at 6 on KDKA. We also reached out to K Jewelers as well for a statement they didn't have when they just told us to refer to the police department, uh, their report for any information. It is also unclear how much jewelry was taken and what it was worth. Reporting live in South Strabane, Washington County, Amy Wattis, KDKA News. Thank you, Amy.